Okay, the new, that's right, we're going to Scotland today to take a little look at our initial early door predictions for the Scottish Premiership and compare them to what the table looks like right here, right now, as we enter the, uh, the 15th of December, that's right. So let's waste no more further ado and jump straight in and take a little look. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we'll take a look at my early door Scottish Premiership predictions that I made way back in August. And we're going to see how they are compared to the table right here, right now. But until then, uh, in just a second, uh, make sure you bang the thumbs up uh, to enjoy this video. Because you, if you bang it, then it makes it gives you a bit of extra loving. Make sure you bang subscribe um, if you're new. Uh, to keep you back up to date with all things uh, Scottish Premiership related, Blackburn Rovers related, whoa, football related. We're all here under one. Rooski. Here we are at my under one Rooski. That is Blackburn Rover season. You can take a little look at some of the other videos I do. But what we're looking at today is this bad boy, which is my early door Scottish Premiership uh, predictions I made back in uh, in August. We're going to take a little look at how uh, how close to the money my early picks are with what the table looks like. So how I do my predictions, how it is on the channel. I start in the middle uh, and I've jumped straight in with St. Johnson in seventh spot. That's who I think will finish seventh. I made this prediction actually back in 25th of July. Uh, the Super Jays currently find themselves in 10th at the moment. So not bad, not far off the money. Uh, in the real world, uh, Ross County are in seventh. So um, we shall see. We shall see if that uh, comes to fruition. Obviously, only 12 teams in this division. Um, so, yeah. Kilmarnock in eighth. They currently find themselves in fifth. Obviously, tremendous season last season. Uh, new manager now. Um, don't know if he's got to grips of it. But uh, they've currently find themselves uh, without a win in four as of recording. Uh, so, Super Jays. Uh, sorry, Kilmarnock finishing in, in, in eighth. Uh, so, they'll, they'll need to drop off the pace a little bit um, in this one. Um... Uh, in the real world, uh, is Livingston, and they come up ninth in my prediction. So that's not too far off the money. So Livingston will finish ninth in my eyes. Currently, they, they find themselves in eighth with 19 points on the board. Uh, in the real world, it is St. Mirren uh, in ninth spot. So, and I have them in tenth. So, so far, this is looking not bad. Not bad indeed. Tenth spot for St. Mirren. Uh, that's Super J. So we, we got that covered now. Uh, so it's interesting who was in 11th. Um, I have Ross County, uh, but they are actually in seventh. But in the real world, it is Hearts, Hearts of Midlothian. That's right. They've just sacked their manager. I think they're trying to bring in Stendhal, the former Barnsley chief, uh, to come in to, uh, to take over the reins um, uh, out in thing. At bottom, it is Hamilton Academicals, and that is what it is at the moment. So uh, not bad, not bad bottom seven here. I think uh, the Super Jays is a little bit off. Hearts, nowhere, need to, nowhere to be found. Um, but Hamilton, not too shabby. St. Mirren, not too shabby. Livingston and uh, Kilmarnock is a little bit a little bit weary. But we're going to take a look at the top half now and see how well we got on with that bad boy. Um, Motherwell in sixth. They currently find themselves in fourth. Uh, three wins on the spin for them heading in today. Uh, they actually take on Rangers as of recording. So that may that may push them uh, up to third if, if possible. Um, I'm expecting maybe Hearts to be in fifth if my memory serves me correctly. It's going to be either Hearts or Hibs, surely. Um, but because I've got a Hibs bias, I'll probably push, push them above them. Um, but Hibs aren't doing the greatest. So sixth, Motherwell. Um, in the real world, it is Hibernian. Uh, who currently find themselves with 22 points on the board. Uh, fifth, we've got Hearts. Again, we already mentioned them. They are struggling in 11th spot. They could possibly get themselves into 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 that reckoning. Obviously, uh, the top two are, are on a league of their own at the moment. Um, but third onwards is all up for grabs. So you never know. Hearts might might pull it out of the bag. Again, this is very early considering where we are in the season. We've got a whole host of the rest of the season to go. Basically, at halfway. Um so, Hibs in fourth. They currently find themselves in sixth. Uh, new manager for them as well. Uh, Ross Jack, the ex-Sunderland manager, has taken over them. And you never know, they might steer them towards the, this direction. In the real world, uh, Motherwell currently find themselves in fourth. They've actually had a really good season themselves. Uh, they could also go third um, very, very soon. Uh, Aberdeen are in third, and that's what I've called, folks. That's what I've got with 32 points on the board in, in the end. Sorry, uh, that's what they have at the moment. Um, but, uh, yeah, Aberdeen doing okay. Uh, you know, what they are... They've been third for the past few seasons. It's the top two that's that's going to be interesting. I um, currently find Rangers in the second spot. Um, I think 
um, last season. I actually went Celtic top dogs, Rangers second, but I might have flip flopped them around a little bit this season. So we'll see. Um, I think I, I think I recall going Rangers uh, as number one spot. So we'll we'll find that out in a second. So Aberdeen are third. I, in fact, that is what I've called, folks. Uh, there's only two points separating the two sides as of recording, um, but Celtic second, which would mean Glasgow Rangers top dogs for me um, for this season out in the Scottish Premiership. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. If not, uh, it'll be another egg on my face. Um, but hey, come on then, do the reveal just in case there was some some other crazy shit that went down and I put uh, Inverness Caledonia and Thistle as top spot. But I don't think so. I did. I think I opted for uh, Stevie, Stevie G's uh, Rangers. Now, ori originally, I think I put Rangers last season hold my hands up, I think I, I actually put them fourth. Um, so a complete turnaround. He sold me last season with his passion and desire, and I expect him to turn it around and expect him to get top spot this season, um, And which would be a bit of a surprise. Obviously, Neil Lennon's ripping it up at the moment, picking up the domestic uh, 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 trophies and also doing well in Europe. So both great, both Glasgow sides are looking uh, in, in tip-top shape at the moment, and I'm hoping they do well in the, the next round of the Europa League as well. Hope they can go further further along, maybe even meet up with a with an English team and show them what's what's worth. Um, but yeah, that's what I predicted way back in July, and and right now also on the screen you should see what the table currently looks like. All in all, I don't think it's a too bad a prediction. I've got a couple of wild ones: uh, Kilmarnock in eighth in the real world, they are fifth. Obviously, Hearts are in eleventh. I have them as high as fifth at the moment. Hibs fourth. Uh, and they are six. But besides that, I think it's not too shabby all in all. Um, I'll maybe take a look at this uh, this table again later on um, when we come towards the end of the season and see how close to the money I got um, originally. But anyway, folks, that's all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. If you do, smash the subscribe. New videos pretty much every single day on the channel. And tomorrow we'll probably take a look at another division. Maybe go to Europe and have a little look at what's going on uh, in the Europa League. Or not in the Europa League. In uh, La Liga or something like that. But anyway, until then, smash the thumbs up. Smash subscribe i'll see ya next time around thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers related championship related football related we've got it all covered right under one roof and while i still have you please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here i hope <laughs>